Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Americans watching this are asking themselves, what's the problem with picture ID? What's the problem with photo ID? Why not have photo ID to present when you cast your vote in the United States of America? Americans watching are wondering regarding mail-in ballots, why would there be an automatic mechanism to, to deliver mail-in ballots or absentee ballots to every registered voter? Americans watching are wondering why, why would anyone expect that an election system that was designed to encourage fraud, why would you expect it to not experience fraud? Because corruption is born in the heart of man, ladies and gentlemen, not in the mechanisms of man. And Republicans in Congress are carefully and judiciously addressing the very serious concern of election integrities by focusing on D.C. election mechanisms for, for two primary reasons. One, the Constitution grants every sovereign state the right to determine the means by which elections will take place within that sovereign state. But Congress has unique authority over D.C. because it's our nation's capital. And election integrity is indeed a national concern. So we must address this concern, but do so within the parameters of our constitutional authority. This is why we're focused on D.C. To my, my D.C. citizens, brothers and sisters, you, you live in a beautifully unique city, the capital of the nation that stands as the beacon of hope for the entire world. It's a, it's a capital city that belongs to all the people. And the people of America are concerned about election integrity. So we put forth legislation through our constitutional authority as Congress for Washington, D.C., that could stand as a model for the entire nation, for the sovereign states that have the authority to determine the means by which elections take place within that state. And these common sense proposals of Photo ID, legitimate photo ID to cast a vote. It's, it's, it's difficult to comprehend how anyone would oppose such a measure. The common sense proposal of limiting the numbers of ballots that are uncontrolled, delivered to homes across that voting area collected in unsecured ballot boxes. There's common sense to control that. Might I suggest that we take a step back, all of us, and recognize the work that has been done by Republicans in this Congress to address this very serious issue carefully and judiciously by allowing and conducting hearing after hearing after hearing was significant debate, as one of my colleagues stated earlier. Ms. Holman Evans, you strike me as, as, as a good lady with beautiful intent to serve her community. I, I sense that you're, you're very serious about doing your job, and I commend you for that. And I would ask you candidly here, before the entire country, is there any single measure of the legislation proposed that you would consider to be a common sense control that should be enacted to help us secure our elections in your jurisdictional authority? Is there any measure here? In my role as the executive director, I do not um, provide opinions. I'm asking for your opinion. I'm giving, you, I'm giving you the opportunity, good lady. 
Thank we you. We recognize, I respect you as an American. I've stated as such. I'm asking you, is there not one common sense measure within this where we could seek concurrence and agreement? This is the diplomatic way. Thank you for the question. As I mentioned, I am here in my official capacity as the executive director of DC Board of Elections. So you're gonna decline this not, opportunity it, to opine it, is the way I, I'm reading that. Well, let me it, say, the, the general we're gonna move forward. We're gonna move forward it, it, as, a, as a body. Mr. Chairman, my time it, has expired. Thank you very much.